Hi there, YouTubers. <sighs> More canola oil rant. So every time I go somewhere, uh, like especially in the summer, my wife and I like to go camping. We like to travel a lot. And occasionally uh, there's french fry places. And um, we'll go there. And first thing I'll ask them is, like, what do you use to fry your french fries? They say canola oil, I go, thank you very much, and I walk away. Now, I have been known to tell them how bad canola oil is for people. Shockingly to me, I'm really shocked about this, they don't care. <laughs> they really don't care. You know, canola oil used to be rapeseed oil, and everybody knew rapeseed oil is bad for you. So the industry decided, well, we need to change the name because everybody knows who we are. They know we're like bad. So, and you can research this yourself. You'll find out how they got the name. But they wanted to use Canada in the name because Canada is such a friendly nation. So Canada oil is what they wanted. Then they came out with canola and it stuck and... People somehow think with their hearts or something because they believe, oh, it's a nice name like canola, it can't be bad for you, whatever. So when you try to explain to people that uh, canola oil is responsible for so many diseases and, and problems, I mean, you can go online and research this yourself. The first thing it attaches is your liver and your kidneys. It just saddens my heart. It just really breaks my heart. Like... People fall for this though. They don't care. You gotta start caring about your health. And nobody else is gonna care. That doctor, the, the, the drug pusher doctor that you go to, once in a while for 10 minutes, doesn't give a crap. His job is to sell pills. And he's gonna sell you a pill to make you feel better. Because you're gonna say, oh doctor, this is what I'm feeling. And he's gonna give you a pill to make you feel better but he doesn't tell you that pill is going to make you feel worse in other ways then he'll sell you another pill to make you feel better in those other ways and it'll just keep going on and on and on before you're on like eight freaking pills and wondering how your life got to be so bad because you chose to not care you know it's really crazy that I used to be in the same boat before I started caring about my health is I believe that the government would never allow foods on the market that would harm me. They would never do that. That's their job is to protect me. That's why I pay taxes. Well, it's not why you pay taxes. And they don't care about you. <laughs> you pay taxes because they got guns and they can make you freaking pay taxes. It's no different than the mafia knocking on your door and going, guess what? You're going to pay us protection money. It is no different. They put funny names on it and everything else but if you don't care about your health nobody else's really nobody and when it gets to the point where people are going to make a lot of money off of your bad health they still won't care <laughs> you're going to care <clears throat> and you might start caring when you got nothing left to leave your, your kids <laughs> Oh, God. You've really... Everybody needs to look into what they're eating. Especially canola oil. I Me, mean, really. Oh, my God. I was watching a YouTube video with a very prominent chef, and he's cooking with canola oil. Like, seriously? And the olive oil bottle is right beside the canola oil bottle? Oh, boy. Anyway, you know what? There's people out there that believe what they want to believe. <laughs> They believe that it's not bad for you. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> and you know what? If somebody told you to drink motor oil and it's not bad for you and you drink it and you get sick, I mean, who are you to blame? <laughs> it kills me. <laughs> yeah, people believe that stuff. But, you know, in the end, you got to do what you got to do. You believe in your beliefs. <laughs> I believe in what I believe and 
you got to believe in what you believe. And uh, I know that ever since I've started trusting this body, not the government, <laughs> I've been eating the right foods, what I believe are the right foods, through lots and lots and lots of just checking it out. <laughs> I love testimonials. Testimonials just... Doctors hate testimonials, you know. I've been to my doctor many times with testimonials. They don't want to hear about testimonials. They call it anecdotal evidence. They don't want to hear it. Can't sell them drugs. You can't sell their drugs with testimonial evidence. So what you do is you got to listen to these people who are curing themselves of everything and getting their health back like me. And uh, really believe in what you believe. If you believe canola oil is good for you, by all means, take it. I don't care. <laughs> but I do care when I see my family doing it. And they think I'm a nut bar if I tell them it's bad for them. Because, like, why would the government allow that? <laughs> why would these people sell you food that they know is going to kill you? <laughs> it's going to create diseases and heartache. Oh, because they don't care. They don't. So if they don't care, you got to care. You're the only person who's got to care about you. <laughs> anyway, I hope this helps somebody. Bye for now.